just can see the tunnel. Foggy. <clears throat> I'm headed in. I'm going to go pick Gary up. We're going back to the rocks. Somewhere on the rocks. I'm not sure where. Stand by. Still got lots of fog. Well, we're headed in for our adventure. We're headed right back to where I left from yesterday. And you can see it's a froggy. Froggy. Shallow right now. Tide is out good. There's Gary, if you can make him out. This is a place called a ship's cabin. It used to be a great big seafood place. Now it's an Italian place. You can see it's foggy. Look at that. No targets yet. Been here 10 minutes. Well, the first target is a clad dime. And you see the conditions haven't improved very much. It might be a bit chillier than it was. My feet are saying, wait a minute here, what's happening to me? Well, the sun has come out a little bit. Trying to burn some of this fog off, but it ain't burned it off yet. This is one of them jetties we're working around. All those little baby oysters, that's where they grow. They grow on rocks or bricks or on each other, whatever you want to call it. They call it striking. They strike. Now this is an interesting little spot. You see it comes off from the dry sand. It's a sandbar here. Rocks right there. And it makes off into like a finger. A little thing here. I don't know what you call it. But it looks interesting. I'm going to hunt in that little slough right there now. You can see this. You can't see it for the fog. But there's another little pocket right over there. If we swing around. You see this thing like a ripple cut. It starts up here. Sandbar water and then that little pocket starts right there stand by uh, I got a couple sinkers I got a, a flock of bottle caps for some reason today Heineken's but here we go well I found a nice place for rocks right here but I haven't found anything in it That big old rock. Lots of small rocks. And no taquitos. Well, fog is trying to blow off, burn off. You can see down here, we got a brand new house being built. see a crab boat I think you can see it knocking along up the bay here now there's a crab upside down bottomless crab basket 
appears to be another one down there or two I see one two three boats right there in the crab boat I see another boat right off there and another boat maybe in a little while we'll be able to see but you can see there's still some fog lingering it's just getting better beautiful day I got a bunch of crap so far you know, crap like, way crap. Like I'm beach cleaning again. Stand by. I don't know what that is other than a rock. But some, whatever that is hooked to it. Oh my God. You talking about sounding good. I don't know. But it sure sounds good. Ah, wait. Well, the fog is just about gone. You can still see some lingering around up there by the tunnel. See some laying low right there. But other than that, it's sunshiny. A few more meager crap targets. That's it. Now, right there is what I think they call a SEAL Team support boat. It's like an inshore warfare boat. Like 150, 200 foot long, goes real fast, a lot of guns on it. I don't know what the actual name of it is, but that's what that is. It's like a baby destroyer. SEAL Team boat. Got two or three of them. Oh, look at this. A stinging nettle. Mmm. Not good. Yellow. They get eight. Copper. Another ringy dingy. Another piece of crap. Look at the ice in that baby shining through there. <laughs> She's an ice cube baby. Come out of there. Yes, sir. Look at that sparkler. God damn. Klondike. Ooh, don't blind yourself, guys, on this baby. Look at that ice. Look at that ice. The gold plating, you can see it's coming off of my fingers. Look. God, that's a bad sign when that happens. <laughs> I'm getting blinded. There's Mr. Gurry. We'll get a report, see how he's making that. I ain't going nowhere. He gonna show me his trade. Got two rings, he said. Two rings. That's right. You hear that noise? That's a hovercraft. They're doing exercises here. You hear him? I don't know if you can hear him or not. He's going in. You can't see him very good now. He's going in the inlet. But he's been throwing up noise, and God knows. Good gracious, ringy dingy. Yeah, that's a silver one for sure. Nine two five, right inside of it. <laughs> and this is other one. Got a little hand on it, like a sort of like a I don't know. It's two rings hooked together, made together. Oh, it's got a little, no, it's just like a little hand there. See it? Yeah, baby. OK. 
Okay, we got some rings today. Rings, I should say. Hold them up on your fingers. Let me see them. Hold them closer together. Can you see them, I got a new camera I'm experimenting with. Okay. Local watermen get ready to set his crab pots. Season's getting ready to start, I guess. I don't think it started yet, but maybe he's just getting ready. He's got a load of crab pots on that, huh? The guru, Junior. We ain't seen the guru in two or three days. He won't answer his phone. We can't even get a hold of him, so we stopped calling him. We're in what we call East Beach now. This is true East Beach. So, right fancy homes right here now. Look at that one. Look at that one right there. And that one right there. East Beach. I don't know if you can see this or not. The fog is rolling back in. Actually, you can see it. See it? It's rolling right in. See it? See it? Look at it. You see it coming over that way? It's getting foggy again. Rolling in this way with the wind. Across another nice place of rocks here. Yeah, 50, 60 feet worth of rocks. I've been in them for about five or ten minutes. Ain't nothing come out much from junk. Stand by. Well, these are the rocks to the Little Creek Jetty. Back in there is a great big, that's where the SEAL team bases are. And all the hovercraft, big Navy facility called Little Creek. That's what it's called. It's a big jetty. That's a little crab boat. He's coming in, looks like. I said all his pots that we saw earlier. Getting foggy again now. The foghorn's blowing on the end of the rocks. This is a big, big inlet here. That's a, all, like I said, that's all Navy over there. A little creek. Runs up into here. I think they're like condos of some sort. They're very, very east end of East Beach. You can see we're up in the air right good ways. Stand by. All right, we'll give you a little rundown here since we're taking a little five-minute break in the action. That noise you hear in the background, that's them damn hovercrafts. 
Here's that uh, nitro ring. There's a uh, looks like two dimes, four pennies and a quarter. I don't know what this is. Maybe an old paint thing of paint, maybe. I don't have no clue what that is. That's iron, looks like. You know what that is, of course. Nice bio caps. Some gray matter. Bullet. A little brass piece, maybe off a boat or something. Swivels. That really cool what's it, which I don't know what it is. Piece of cop. I'm gonna put my stuff back on and take back off. See how Gary's making that. He's right here now. Got any more tickets? Got more rings? Huh? Got any more rings? We find one. Well, here's the return from the jetty back to the truck. Worked in the damp sand, not in the water. A little washer, bullet. I don't know what that is. Police off a boat, I'm sure. Another ring. I'm in the ring business. <coughs> I'm getting ready to go to the store. I forgot to get some. Look. He's ready. He ain't been out in two days. He's been out, but he ain't been on the beach in two days. So he's mad. But he'll get over it. Stand by.